The COVID-19 pandemic has disconnected so many people from community resources and support systems. People are staying home to protect themselves, but what if your home isn't a safe space for you? CBS 19's Peyton Whiteman checked in with the East Texas Crisis Center to learn what options are available for survivors of family violence. So pretty much any victim of family violence, any type of abuse, is they're just kind of locked in right now. It's a stressful time for many because of the coronavirus outbreak. And for some, that stress comes out in the worst ways. The violence, we've heard some very unusual stories and very profound violence. The East Texas Crisis Center is continuing to provide support for survivors of domestic violence. We're still providing uh, services and our shelter is still open. Uh, so we haven't uh, had to, to change any of that. There are about seven families staying at the center currently. But Lana Peacock, the executive director, says there's room for those who need a safe place to go. It's safety first. That's the issue that we address with, with safety planning and uh, risk assessment and really helping them. A telehealth service has also been created to help connect with those not able to leave home yet. We're also doing any of our support groups, our intervention groups, and literally uh, therapy, uh, either uh, on online or by phone. The number of domestic violence calls for the months of March and April for Smith County and the city of Tyler have been around the same as last year's number of calls for those months. But Peacock says she and other crisis centers across the state are expecting more. So what we're anticipating and gearing up for is that once all the restrictions are lifted and people can go back to work and go about their daily business, that's when we're going to see the increase. If you or someone you know are experiencing family violence, the East Texas Crisis Center has a 24-7 hotline. That number is on your screen, 903-595-5591. We've got you covered, East Texas. Peyton Weidman, CBS 19. Now, because of the coronavirus outbreak, the East Texas Crisis Center is not taking in people from outside of the East Texas area.